this is uh, <coughs> uh, a very much uh, unexpected uh, video. Um, right, just a quick recollection. Uh, you remember that I uh, received email confirmations from Skype regarding changes to my account when somebody had hacked into it. And you remember what I said after, or well, I was before setting you your little assignment, that uh, I had reported it to Skype. <laughs> well, I certainly did not expect the kind of uh, reply that I got. Uh, now I have told Skype that I'm going public with this, um, but they, well the impression I get is that they don't believe I will. Needless to say, I'll be uh, providing them with a link to this uh, YouTube to show that uh, I am true to my word and that I am also true to my word when I say that if um, any like financial data is uh, acquired by this uh, Russian individual who has taken over my account, I won't be going after him, I will be going after Skype and I will sue them faster than they can fucking blink. So if you are the uh, Skype person who has received uh, the email with the link to this, don't think I'm fucking joking. When I said I'll go public I meant it, and when I say that if a penny gets taken out of my bank account or PayPal account, I'm coming after you. Now, this is the first email that I got after uh, I sent in you know, the, the report and filled out the form online. Now uh, I'd filled it out as best I could. Um, the only thing that I could not fill out was that I didn't know, seeing as it was fucking years ago, I didn't know the month and year that I started up my account. To me, starting up a Skype account is as mundane as it gets. It's like trying to memorise, you know, when you did the washing up, you know, five plus years ago. Nevertheless, here it is. Thank you for contacting Skype. I've carefully reviewed your account details and information provided in the form. After a thorough analysis, I'm sorry to say that you did not pass verification. We at Skype value the security of your account very highly, and since I'm not able to verify your identity, I cannot help you with your concern. You can give it another try if you'd like to change your answers to the verification questions. You will need to fill out the entire form once again here with the link. Otherwise, if you feel that you are not able to recall any further details about uh, your account, then I suggest creating a new account. And the game goes into uh, setting up uh, the account. And also, in case you have a Microsoft account, you can simply log in with that. I'll come back to that in a moment. Once again, I do apologise for the inconvenience this may have caused you. May have caused me. But I hope you understand that since I cannot verify account ownership, I cannot change your account G details. Due to security policy, verification form is the only way for us to verify your identity. So in other words, if you ha cannot memorise the time that you set up your Skype account, this lot don't want to fucking know. And any cunt can come along, steal your Skype account, and they will not lift a finger to do anything about it. Now, they say then that uh, you, know, you can give it another try if you'd like to change your answers to the verification questions. I can't change the answers because the answers I put in were right. Things like, name the first five uh, people on your uh, account. I named the first five. That can't change. One of the people in that first five has been dead three years. How the fucking hell are they supposed to remove themselves from my account? So, 
the, the people on the list are as no, they should be. Um, I haven't actually bought any uh, credit on Skype for uh, over four years because I don't use it enough now to warrant buying any. Nevertheless, I provided what I think anyway is uh, the uh, payment method, which was my PayPal account. If it wasn't that, then I would have done it using my debit card. And four years ago, I not only did not have the same debit card that I have now, I didn't even have the same bank that I have now. I've changed it. It was HSBC. It's not anymore. I couldn't get away from HSBC fucking fast enough. So what, do they want me to provide them with a bank account that has been closed for, uh, I think, at least three years? Uh, shockingly, I don't remember it. Uh, but everything else that I provided within that was absolutely spot on. Um, there's also the, the small matter that I am writing to them from the email address that uh, was used to set up the Skype account in the first place. Not only that, they can very easily check that uh, the IP of the email address, or rather the, the email they've received, originates in the UK. So why then would I have a fucking Russian email address? It's, oh, it's just fucking ridiculous. And then there's this other bit about if you are not able to recall any further details about your account, then I suggest creating a new one. Well, I use my Microsoft account uh, now to log into uh, Skype. But that's already linked to a Skype account, namely the one that's been hacked. And of course I can't unlink it because I need the password for the hacked account, which of course got changed. So I can't do it. And Skype themselves won't do it because they're saying that, uh, oh, they don't believe that it's my account. And the bullshit just carries on and on. So I replied to this particular email, um, pointing out all of this, along with the fact that, you know, if uh, a penny is taken from my account details, I'll be suing Skype. And the reply I got to that second uh, email consists of this. Uh, we received your reply. I understand that you want to recover your Skype account. I acknowledge as well that you have filled out our verification form prior to this request. However, to no luck, you are unable to verify your account ownership. I am sorry for the inconvenience. However, if you are not... Oh, you fucking poxy ice cream van. Uh... I am sorry for the inconvenience, however, if you are not able to verify your account, we cannot proceed further towards your request. So in other words, it's, it's just carrying on, sticking their heads in the sand, saying we don't want to know. I am sure that there are other ways that they could verify that I am the legit account holder, but they just can't be bothered because it means they have to do a bit of effort about it rather than, you know, giving me the run around and making me do it all. Um, I, mean, it, I mean, bearing in mind, it's clearly their lax uh, security protocols that allowed this cunt to come along and take over my account in the first place. By the way, that person has now uh, been signed up to the uh, mailing list of 112 websites. I've stopped now. I think 112 is enough. Plus, it's more than I can be bothered to do it. You know. So, anybody else want to add any more, just carry on going. There's also a great link that was provided by uh, Praetor uh, on the uh, first video I did of this, which uh, will really do the trick. Um, so anyway, he carries on. We are humbly asking you for. Oh, hang on, no, we are humbly asking for your understanding regarding our decision. Well, you ain't gonna fucking get it. You can ask as humbly as you like. The fact is, it is my account, but because I can't remember, you know, a particular, totally 
pointless detail of the, something that was done over five years ago, uh, I'm now the one in the wrong. So don't expect me to fucking understand it, because that's just bullshit. Uh, so that is Skype customer service for you. So if you have an account with them, and it gets hacked, judging by my own personal experience, don't expect them to do a single fucking thing to help out. So, uh, I'd be interested to see if they are going to actually do anything now that I've carried out my promise of going public about it, and, uh, you know, if they are going to actually do anything to anybody else whose accounts get uh, hacked, because, well, I suspect this is certainly not a one-off uh, problem. And uh, if you've uh, received this uh, same sort of uh, response from Skype as a result of your uh, uh, account being hacked, I'm very keen to hear from you. Hmm.